Hello everyone. On this early morning we are off to Elk Island National Park to go to an area we have never been to before, which is the south side of the park or south of Highway 16. The park has their wood bison herd there and we were going to take the wood bison trail to see if we could see any. The area is also shared with moose, elk, deer and coyote as well as various small animals, rabbits, crows, that kind of thing. The trail is noted as difficult, so be well prepared when you take it. We're off to the ticket booth at uh, the park. We were there so early that the uh, kiosks weren't manned, so we had to do the, the automatic thing. So here we're on the south side of the uh, highway, off to the park, and you can see by the high fences here that there's some fairly large animals inside the park. And then we parked our car for the day here, and we were off. So to give you a reference, we were there in mid-January, and it was about around minus four this day, so a decent day for a hike of this length. So for this trail, we went clockwise on it, and it says 15.6 kilometers in four to five hours, but our GPS was giving more like 17 kilometers. The trail is also rated as difficult, and uh, it had snowed uh, a few days before this, and the trail is definitely not groomed. Um, in fact, for areas that uh, the deer and the moose and bison were not walking on, and it was just treaded by humans, it actually got very difficult towards the end here. So thank God for the hiking poles. So yeah, we thought this was a moose track, so we're still looking for our wood bison, but we came across a moose track. And so we're kind of thinking, hey, this is looking good. Oh yeah, this um, scene reminded me of a Daphne Ojek painting with all these poplars, just beautiful. But yeah, so we're on the trail of wood bison, but we see a moose print, so we're kind of like, okay. And we're seeing signs of sleeping. So we're like, okay. We might be getting a bit close to something here. The beautiful sunrise. So yeah, as you've seen by the road in, we were coming in pretty early, so we had these beautiful sun rising through the trees shots here. And then, yeah, so we, so we were a little happy here. Here's some wood bison uh, herd area here where they've been scratching the ground, trying to get the grass so they can eat it. We think this is moose on the other hand, though, so we're kind of like, okay, this is interesting. And then suddenly, here's a moose. We think it's a male, fairly young. But I've only seen a moose one other time in my entire life. And suddenly here's one, one young moose. And as you'll see later on in the video, we've seen a second moose. So this was a pretty lucky day when it came to moose. Very lucky, I guess you could say. He was very tame. Actually, well, I shouldn't say tame but he wasn't minding our presence too much. Although as I moved around with the camera here, he got a little nervous and decided to walk into the forest a little more. But this was a pretty good start to the day, seeing this guy. So I was so far pretty happy. I'm not sure how many moose they have in the park. I didn't look that up. I only know that the wood bison were introduced in 1964.
He was saying a lot more, but I wasn't able to get my camera up in time to hear all his his calls. You do tend to miss a lot of shots that way. One of the reasons why I like to keep the GoPro on the hiking poles. So, as we walked along a trail, so we've seen a canister hanging in the bush here. And as I struggle my way along a log here to make my way to it, because I'd rather not walk in the deep snow, I plucked a bear spray canister off one of the trees here. So the can was, I would say, slightly over half full and was just sitting there hanging in the bush. And yeah, that was not good, so we decided we better retrieve it. <laughs> yeah, I threw it in the soft snow there. I thought that was probably a better action than falling off the log with it, so. But yeah, if you take bear spray in the woods, please do not leave it in there. If anybody from Parks Canada is watching this video too, we took this thing home, so we're going to dispose of it here. But if you guys got a protocol of what I should do or we should do if we find such items in the bush, that would be nice. So I think I might have mentioned earlier, um, it's minus 4 today, so it's fairly warm not like the last video it's a little more uh, livable but as you can see as we walk along here the trail gets a little harder to walk in yeah we think that might have been again hard to tell whether it was bison or moose fur but we're starting to see signs of you know large animals we're still on the lookout for what bi bison by the way but as it turns out we never did see them but yeah, we actually did see a moose again later here. Uh, three other people on the trail that day. And here's a moose. This one, unfortunately, is not as close as the other. I was only able to zoom in so far. In fact, it, when I first shot this video, I didn't think this was even going to be usable, so I was very happy that I got something out of this. We're pretty sure it's not the same one, but as you can see, it's a fair distance away, so it's tough to tell, really. But yeah, I've only seen one moose in my entire life before this, and today I've seen two, so... We didn't see the wood buffalo, but I felt very fortunate. I was very happy. He slips down the hill. He was still skittish of us nonetheless. This trail has a few lakes. I believe about three of them. I'm, the names of them escape me right now, but we're definitely coming back here in the summer just to see the differences. A few boardwalks across streams too, so we really like to see what this all looks like in the spring and summer. So I think we'll be back. So, incidentally, they were responding to another pack that would have been off to the right of us, probably about a half a kilometer away. These guys felt like they were just over the hill, but I think they were a little further than that. And, yeah, so we heard them, didn't see any coyotes that day. Another reason to bring bear spray.
And then we're back at the parking lot, done the trip. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We had a great time. Glad you came over. Thanks for watching.